We got involved with the International Skills Partnership because we responded to an expression of interest by British Council. Now, when we recorded that, we were delighted to find ourselves paired with the Arab Academy. This is an institution that we already knew about and had done some prior work with. But the ISP was actually going to give us a vehicle to deepen that relationship. We had an aspiration and had just spent £7 million developing a new logistics training centre. In return, the Arab Academy were very interested in a share of practice because they wanted to actually launch degree-level engineering courses. They were already teaching at level four and five and wished to actually move on to the next level. So the objective was to genuinely embark on a partnership that had real mutual benefit and exchange. The Academy is established in 1972 as one of the uh, educational uh, organizations uh, working under, under the umbrella of the Arab League. So we have about 45 years of experience in the educational activities, mainly for the maritime education and training. The College of Maritime Transport and Technology is considered as the oldest college in the academy. Uh, it started as uh, two departments. One of them is the nautical department and the other is the engineering department. And then these departments have developed to be a, a college in 1992. So the first start of the College of Maritime Transport and Technology started in 1992 as a unique college, not only in Egypt, but also in the Middle East and Africa, that uh, provide uh, um, in the maritime education and training uh, that serves the maritime industry from different aspects. We also approved by a number of maritime authorities worldwide. So we entered into the agreement for the ISP because what we want to do is actually build on our strengths. The Grimsby Institute is Ofsted outstanding. During the time that we're involved with the ISP, we've actually been inspected. We've also just been awarded a Beacon Award for outstanding teaching and learning. And therefore, the very interest in terms of teacher training resonated well with some of the strengths that we had as an institution and part of the practice that we were confident that we could share. In return, having spent the, the level of investment that we have in some of the state-of-the-art simulators, we were very mindful that the Arab Academy already had very similar high-quality training facilities, but more importantly, established provision that had been operating for years in terms of cadetships and undergraduate provision. We wanted to learn from the um, academy the nature of their provision and their approach so that we could actually begin to emulate some of the brilliant provision that they have there. Hence, the ISP was absolutely focused on develop developing mutual benefit. In terms of where we go from here, the Grimsby Institute has foundation degree awarding power. So we're one of only five colleges in the country that can write degrees. We are going to begin to look at changing our rights to be able to write those so that international students can benefit from those programmes. We're changing what we're doing in terms of our curriculum in response to what we learn um, with the Arab Academy. And far deeper than that, we're beginning to actually have a rethink on our approach to international studentship and therefore what we can do with other Arab nations, in ASEAN states, in India, within China, being to really have a think about what's the currency of education and what we do in Britain and how that can work in effective partnership with other global partners.